Hello everyone. In today's Polarian ILM session from Garantis IT Solutions, I would like to talk about REST API, how to use it and demonstrate a real example. We will talk about what is latest in 22R2 release and this presentation was um, developed by Garantis IT Solutions and Celsius in partnership. We are a technical partner for Polarian ILM. We provide services on site and off site, Polarian administration, customization, rollout of new projects, maintenance, training, SLA support. Our skills range from developing widgets, programming Velocity SQL and HTML and GUI design to process um, definition, requirements management, quality assurance improving and setting up different processes, developing reports, and now we also help with REST API and web services. We have developed multiple plugins, ISO 26262 template, and we are on the market already eight years, improving Polarian for different customers. Polarian LM 22R2 was released in October 2022, there is a link from Siemens which describes in very good details what is new and new worthy. Please follow the link to see the full description of the new features. And we will focus only on REST API. This is our best choice of features from the latest release. Number one is of course REST API, then diagram editor, usability feature improvements, GUI, backup, reindexing, server improvements. So REST API is the topic for today. Simple introduction, if you have REST API, you can connect your applications. Of course, you can use other technologies, but REST API is a modern, lightweight way to connect applications. You can have software tools on the right side and they can write the data into Polarian and they can read the data using REST API. Representational state transfer, this is the REST API. The Polarian REST API architecture follows REST API community standards like JSON and HTTP methods and the Open API specification, formerly known as Swagger specification. The Polarian REST API is based on JSON API with some deviations. Complex solution for REST API, um, it has much more possibilities or it is described in more details. Let's have a look what we already have without REST API. We have web services, Java Open API. It works using HTTP HTTPS as a protocol. Uh, there is XML as a text data, and we also can use SOAP. There are different clients at the top, including web browsers and also external software, Eclipse, Visual Studio, which connect using either Java Open API or web services to the blue area, which is the functional blocks of Polarian. This is different functionality which Polarian provides. Project management, requirements management, task management, release and build management, test and QA, issue management, dashboards and reports which help to visualize the data, wiki collaboration and discussions and variant management. These are just some of functionalities which are available using existing APIs. Below we can see certified technology partners who use existing APIs to connect to Polarian and to improve usability of their products and also of Polarian itself. For example, MathWorks, Vectorcast, Sparks with Enterprise Architect, they all have already existing connectors. Now, when REST API comes along, it extends the existing um, interfaces or let's say type of interfaces 
we can use multiple functionalities of Polarian this is the blue area in the middle and we can connect to multiple tools on the right side and we can connect to other software tools with REST API, for example, Microsoft Office, Teams, or your custom software tools, if they have REST API, they can also be connected. REST API implementation, only main core functions are implemented in the latest release 22R2. They are documented in a very good way and we can see there are some functions for documents some endpoints for documents for linked book items for page attachments there are different types of um, requests get patch post delete the normal rest api uh, variety of requests in this release only main core functions are implemented we need to wait 2023 when more functions will be developed. The existing functionality covers documents, linked work items, page attachments, pages, projects, roles and users, work item attachments, work item comments, and also work items themselves. You can always get the help using link to your Polarian server slash Polarian slash SDK slash index.html hash rest api and let's have a look what you can find there in these pages so this is what you will get rest api section and if you click on the links there will be ex extensive help about polarian rest api with many functions documented and uh, the documentation is in the following way. There are endpoint name, uh, type of request, and then you get examples in curl, Java, JavaScript, C++. There are parameters described below, body parameters, and also responses and data schema. So that's a quite a good extensive help. You can see there are really a lot of information. You also can get similar information as a um, REST API guide if you are connected to Siemens support portal. So this is how it looks like. And this is a JSON file which includes all the endpoints and parameters. And it's really big file with a lot of detailed information. So these are the same examples. And now we will switch to demo created in partnership between Guarantee IT Solutions and Alcelsis company. So the use case is that elevator can be broken and Alcelsis in real life created application which helps to look after elevators, do the maintenance, register issue or report an issue and then the service team can fix the issue and close it. So this already works in a very good way and we will see how Polarian can be used as a data storage and also as a processing tool to use workflows of Polarian to solve the issues. So the use case is elevator can be broken, service team reports the issue in web application data is stored via REST API in Polarian ILM. So the requests and issues are processed according to workflow and we can see there is a map where the different houses, buildings and elevators are located and all requests are coming to the same database in Polarian. We can go one step further and we can say that Celsius as an electronics company uses embedded systems and IoT devices and in fact the small embedded systems from the elevator via mobile phone connection can send the data to Polarian using REST API. This is quite possible. And this is the demo uh, how Polarian and the Celsius application are used together. 
So we have web application on the left side, Polarian on the right side, and we will do some operations in both systems and we will see how the data is updated simultaneously. So let's watch the video. We add a building now, a new building. We need to enter some information. The address we will get from the map. So here is the map. We shall see it more clearly. This is the date of maintenance. There is a manager e email and name and when we create this item then we will get new work item in Polarian on the right side. So we have saved it. We can see already ID LF102 it is taken from Polarian and in Polarian we have new work item it is in status OK with a lot of additional information coordinates, email, name of the manager. So sorry for the quality of graphics. It, it is actually good quality, but the video encoder didn't take it. So we have guarantees office work item on the right side. It has the coordinates and some information and it is displayed in the web application because web application reads the data from Polarian and can display it on the map. So we created first work item elevator, Garantius office. Now the next video shows how to report a new issue. Again we have a map inside application, we find our office and then we report an issue and we will get a linked work item in Polarian which is called issue with some additional information. So we look at the unfinished issues in the web application. Then we will create a new issue, enter some information And we can see that we select again our office from the map. And for this office we want to report an issue. And now in Polarian there is already issue created. It's called 104 and it is linked to the guarantees office 103. So the issue is in status open. Now in web application we will change the status. Now it is in processing and the status is updated in Polarian. It is written using REST API. So you see the issue is in status in progress. It was updated from web application via REST API. So the next video it will show how to do the maintenance process. Let's watch it. We add a new maintenance to our object guarantees office. We will get a new work item in Polarian work item of type maintenance. It is in status open. Now our guarantees office has two linked work items issue and maintenance. You can see it on the right side and now we will change the status and it will be reflected in Polarian. So our maintenance is now in progress.
so now elevate in status ok issue and maintenance are done this is this was a demonstration of how you can connect external web application to your uh, to your Polarian using REST API and you can transfer the data you can read the data and it, it didn't take too long it was about two weeks project to replace existing API and to use Polarian database and also Polarian functionality Garantis IT Solutions is your technical partner for Polarian LM support we would be happy to know your needs your ideas maybe you have some interesting projects for REST API we will be happy to help you and to develop something together you can contact us via email you can check our websites and just for information we developed different project templates reports plugins we provide support and customizations thank you for your attention and see you next time